Hey, I'm back so soon already. Um, I honestly wasn't expecting to make another video this quickly. But, uh, something happened today. Something really interesting. Um, after I made the video, well, yesterday, um, I... Well, first of all, if you, welcome back to, to the journey if you're unfamiliar uh, with this. Basically, uh, I'm just... I'm calling this a monocast because it's just me talking and I was thinking about, you know, podcasts, what would be a word for one person. Anyways, um, I, I talk about life and shit and, and this is what I'm doing. So what happened today was after I made the video, I felt amazing. Like, I felt like I could take on the world all of a sudden. I felt... I don't know if it was that I just got a bunch of stress off or if I, you know, got something off my chest or, or I said something that that triggered something in my brain. I have no idea. But what I do know is that it feels like I unlocked some crazy hidden bonus level that you need like five hidden keys that you get from a bunch of bullshit fetch quests. That you have to really dig into like the lore to even find. And then let alone find the door to unlock it. That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm being rewarded in that way. Because I, I feel, I literally feel like I can take on anything. And it is insane. I don't think I've ever felt anything like this before. Um, so I just wanted to share that. Uh, as part of my documentation. But also, I wanted to explain the reason for the title, um, Hunting the Wolf. Because if you watched the previous episode, the um, if you can even call it an episode. If I get to the campsite first, or if you're lost, open up your map or use your scout flies to track me. Stop distracting me. Um, Your wildlife map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. I don't know what you I'm doing. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. Whenever you leave the base without signing up for a quest, you'll go on an expedition. There's no time limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint, which means you can explore to your heart's content. Over here. Hello. Okay, that... Sorry, I'm getting really distracted. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. You can gotcha. fast travel okay. back to camp simply by selecting um, it from the wildlife map. As I was saying, I wanted to explain the reason for the title Hunting the Wolf because I literally did not mention anything about any wolves or hunting uh, aside from the fact that this is Monster Hunter World in the previous episode. So, Hunting the Wolf has a double meaning. The first meaning is in reference to my Hunting Lads character, Wolf. And if you're unfamiliar with Hunting Lads, it is a series that I record with a couple of my amazing pals, Tom and Ren. And we just have a grand old time hunting monsters going through the, through the main quest of the game, and it's, it's, all, it's a blast. So if you're a fan of Monster Hunter or Monster Hunter World, just check it out. I mean, you don't have to, but it's, it's pretty fun. But anyways, um, so Wolf is this character that is really edgy looking. He's, uh, I tried to make him as black as possible to represent, you know, like a dark mood kind of thing. Um, and I gave him some red tattoos, like a slash over his face to make him look rugged and Blah, 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 blah. He's an edgelord, basically. Anyways. Um, so I'm a veteran of this game. And when I Monster, play Monster Hunter, I kind of disappear from reality. Like I embody the hunter 
that I see before me. I'm not thinking about anything else. It's just me and, and the hunter in the game. That's, that's it. We're one and the same. So when I made Wolf, in a way, I made a different version of myself. The difference is that version of myself is way stronger, a hell of a lot more dependable, and just can get shit done. And so the first meaning is basically catching up to Wolf from Hunting Lance with this character. Dodge their attacks. Um, not just digitally, but also in reality. I want to be Wolf to a certain extent. Uh, would I love to hunt giant monsters for a living? Maybe not. Uh, I think it would be really sick. But the second meaning, when you think about wolves, they hunt in packs. And if you were to hunt a wolf, more than likely it's not going to be alone. So you have to be really careful because if you decide to pick on a wolf, suddenly you might find that you're surrounded by three others behind you because you weren't paying attention. You have to take control of the situation. You have to be completely aware of your surroundings. You have to be aware of your target. And you have to be aware of, you know, potential exit strategies. And it can be really dangerous. And so I kind of felt that that matched what I was trying to, per, not persuade. I don't fucking know. Words are hard sometimes. Uh, convey. Convey. Trying to convey. Ooh, hold on. Print here. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, other than the fact that I, I feel like it's a little bit too early to judge anything still. You know, this, this feeling is incredible, but is it going to last? Is it a fluke? Is it just a one day thing? You know? So, we'll see what happens with that, and I'll give an update when I feel that I'm ready to, but well, right we'll now, care of that past I feel like tonight. I can handle anything. Oh, yeah. um, and I think that concludes this spew session for right now. Unless I think of something else, we're just going to focus on taking down this Kulu Yaku. To return to base from an expedition, open the wildlife map and switch to the world map, then select Astera. It's funny that he thinks I'm going to just return to camp. Because I'm not. I'm here to slay a bitch. But, considering I also feel like I have nothing else to say at the moment, uh, this is probably going to be the only thing that I do for this video. So, hope you enjoy it. There you are. Shut up. To the head will change a monster's course. I was gonna say, if I fucking miss that, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, I forgot to say boom. Oh well. We'll get him on the next one. Wait, is he? He's not even mad yet. Oh, fuck you. Hold on. I got this. Hey, look, a tree. Bitch. Now's your chance. Hit it with all you've got.
I hate it when I don't get my combos off correctly. It's fine. Boom! I love this game so much. Not just this game, Monster Hunter in general. It's just so satisfying to beat the living hell out of a monster for some reason. And then make a belt out of its body afterwards, as Tom would say. And... Boom! I missed. But you know, that wasn't too shabby. Cannot wait to make a uh, feathered head out of him. You know? Do I have... I do have rations. You can assign a target destination for your scout blah, flies blah, on the map. Blah, 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 blah. I really wish you could turn tutorials off, but, you know, maybe, maybe in wilds. And I'll... I'm more than likely going to continue this series even when wilds comes out. If I can... pull myself away. Actually, no. I should be able to pull myself away because I'd like to think that I'm going to make quite a bit of progress on taking action and taking control of my life better and that I will commit and we'll just see just how much I commit by the way I made a mistake in the previous episode where I said that subjectively subjectively um, Monster Hunter is hard that is an incorrect statement it is objectively Subjectively is from your personal feelings. Objectively is not from your personal feelings. And piercing pods are for making birds that like to hit you with rocks really sad. What the fuck just... He fucking teleported up there. You saw that. Don't lie, I know you did. Fuck, I missed Hey, look, a wall. I hate this bird, by the way. I really do. It's one of the most annoying monsters you can fight. Because it's always trying to hit you in the head with a fucking rock. No! What a waste. Man, not even an actual material. Just just a fucking wyvern tier. What a little bitch. Hey, there's a scale. That counts for something. Just a friendly reminder as well. You should always be collecting everything that you see as much as possible when you're first starting out. It'll be nice to have this... Uh, Kulu Yaku out of the way, though. Because I shouldn't have to worry about him for a long time after this. Oh, hey, that affinity for sliding kicked in. And die. I said die. That's not dying. Sir. All right, you did this to yourself, idiot. Now this is interesting. Hey! Now that's a takedown. Nice job hunting the Kuluyaku. Select a stare from the world map so we can go home. And it actually happened while I was recording this time. All the cool shit happens when you're not recording. And it's really sad. But then I'd have to essentially record all the damn time, and that just doesn't feel right. That feels like it's taking over too much, you know? 
Just gonna grab these guys real quick. Gonna exit out of here. And see what I can make. Considering this was an expedition, I think I don't know if I get rewarded a ton. Yeah, not really, no. It's not an actual quest, so I get less shit. Magnifique. Which doesn't really make Don't a lot of sense down. to me, honestly, but whatever. I have something special just for you. I can get Come a new camp. Oh, 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 you came through. I apparently completed a bounty. Nice. That's not what I want. No. Now I'm just hitting wrong buttons. Cool shit, thanks. That was not. Oh, they automatically set up. No, okay. Never mind. They automatically set up the camp. I'm silly. Let's go to the smithy. So that I can say goodbye. And, you know, if I can't make anything, then we just stick with this. This is the gathering hub. This is not the smithy. But you want to talk to me, so let's talk to you real quick. We have a special quest today. Oh, do you? Special arena quest? Might have to check that out. Here's some spooky October music for you for like 0.2 seconds. How's your gear holding up? My gear is holding up just fine, thank you. Alright, we can make, actually, some stuff. I'm surprised. Alright, let's take a look. We got, ooh, fire resistance. Stamina surge, pro transporter. I would like the fire resistance. You know, how does a feather hat... I wasn't joking about the feathered hat, by the way. How does the feathered hat give you fire resistance? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Increases movement speed while transporting and reduces downtime on landings. Uh, that'll be handy for egg quests. Oh wait, what do I currently have equipped? The leather gloves. Ah, yeah, we'll just we'll just get the gloves. It's fine. I'm going to be a mismatch of a whole bunch of things. Um, how weak am I to fire? Because that is going to matter at some point. I'm for defense fire. Alright. So, thank you for tuning in. And I will catch you whenever I catch you. See you later.